Hello, my dear friends, brothers, and sisters. Welcome to day 115 of the podcast with the Bible through the year. My name is Leo Lozano, Associate Pastor at Revive GMC in Pasadena, Texas. Today, we are reading Matthew 27, verses 11 to verse 26. I am reading from the New Living Translation, but you may follow along from whatever translation you have before you. The important thing is here we are, uh, hitting play one more day opening the Bible one more day, and just spending a few minutes in the Scripture. And my prayer is that we will spend a few minutes throughout the day meditating on the Scripture, creating in such a way a space for the Spirit of the living God to speak to our hearts. So with that in mind, let us go together to the Bible. Now Jesus was standing before Pilate, the Roman governor. Are you the king of the Jews? The governor asked him. Jesus replied, you have said it. But when the leading priests and the elders made their accusations against him, Jesus remained silent. Don't you hear all these charges they are bringing against you? Pilate demanded. But Jesus made no response to any of the charges, much to the governor's surprise. Now it was the governor's custom each year during the Passover celebration to release one prisoner to the crowd, anyone they wanted. This year there was a notorious prisoner, a man named Barabbas. As the crowds gathered before Pilate's house that morning, he asked them, Which one do you want me to release to you, Barabbas or Jesus, who is called the Messiah? He knew very well that the religious leaders had arrested Jesus out of envy. Just then, as Pilate was sitting on the judgment seat, his wife sent him this message, Leave that innocent man alone. I suffered through a terrible nightmare about him last night. Meanwhile, the leading priests and the elders persuaded the crowd to ask for Barabbas to be released and for Jesus to be put to death. So the governor asked again, which of these two do you want me to release to you? The crowd shouted, Barabbas! Pilate responded, then what should I do with Jesus who is called the Messiah? They shouted back, crucify him! Why? Pilate demanded, what crime has he committed? But the mob roared even louder, crucify him. Pilate saw that he was getting anywhere and that a riot was developing. So he sent for a bowl of water and washed his hands before the crowd, saying, I am innocent of this man's blood. The responsibility is yours. And all the people yelled back, We will take responsibility for his death, we and our children. So Pilate released Barabbas to them. He ordered Jesus flogged with a lead-tipped whip, then turned him over to the Roman soldiers to be crucified. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. (sighs) Yeah, here we are, friends. Um, It has happened. Jesus has officially been condemned to the cross. And it is unbelievable, right? Like, the official governor of Rome couldn't find anything for such a punishment. But yet, that's that's what the crowd wanted, right? That's what the leaders wanted. And he even gave them this, you know, this way, all right, I can release Jesus because I clearly see no fault here. Or I can give you this other guy, Barabbas, who he was not a fan of, right? There, there's a reason why he was in prison, right? But here's the thing, and some uh, academics uh, agree with this notion that Barabbas, the reason why he was in jail, it's not because he was, you know, like a common thief or... or something like that. No, like he was kind of like the revolutionary leader that the people wanted. He was more in line with like the Maccabeus um, fighter, right? He was the kind of Messiah that the people wanted, the kind of Messiah that was bringing um, the fight to Rome, right? And so, it, it, it match the imagination of many, right? This is what we want. This is the leader we need. Not this Jesus who wants peace and love and, you know, rainbows. Because, <laughs> yeah, 
Jesus way is backwards. Jesus way is upside down to what we normally would want, right? Love your enemies. What? Really? Um, forgive those who persecute you. Like, what are you talking about? Jesus like, no, no, no. Where are the, the arms, right? Where, where are the chariots? Like we need to kick the Romans out of here. Right. And Jesus was not conforming to that. Jesus' agendas was the Father's agenda, not their agenda. And so Barabbas was more in line with what they wanted. And so to them, it became like a no-brainer. Yeah, give us that guy who wants to kick you out of here, right? And, yeah, and I know you've heard this before, right? But the same crowd that shouted Hosanna a week before is now shouting, crucify him. How Easily were they persuaded, right? Hmm, that's interesting. My prayer is that we may not do so, right? Uh, may we not be persuaded by our own agenda of Jesus. Uh, may we be able to surrender our own ideas, right? Because they, they had an idea of what the Messiah should look like. And the reality is that we do too. So may we surrender those ideas, that agenda, and lay it before the feet of the one true Messiah, the Son of God. May we surrender our will to the Father's will. Thank you for joining me today, and I cannot wait to be back with you tomorrow. God bless you.